how much of an impact those wildfires in Canada are having on us. A lot of you smelling this. A thick haze continues to hover over western New York. Good evening, I'm Leah Lando. Thank you for joining us tonight. An air quality alert is now in effect through tomorrow night, and there's a good reason why many of you have heard about this. All of this smoke coming in from north of the border from those wildfires burning in Canada. Schools even canceling after school activities and sports. The Buffalo Public School District already canceling them for tomorrow. The city of Buffalo suspending sanitation service today. And senior reporter Eileen Buckley spoke with Western New Yorkers about how these conditions are impacting their lives. This is not my real voice. Uh, my, my nasal passages are all swollen up because of this. Don Hennessy is the head groundskeeper at these baseball fields in Amherst. He tells me he's feeling the effects of the smoke from the Canadian wildfires. And here in Amherst, you won't see bases loaded. Little League games have been canceled to avoid poor air quality and protect children. It's just not safe to play. We don't want to push it. Brian Emerson is general manager of the Central Amherst Little League. He says the poor air quality is prompting the decision to cancel games across all six baseball diamonds Wednesday night. The health and safety of our families and our kids is the most important thing. And you don't know what's going on with them. You don't know who has severe allergies or asthma or some other condition that might be impacted. It's just not worth the risk to put a kid in jeopardy. I talked with Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein to find out why babies, young children and teens are particularly vulnerable. Because children are in that population where they're very vulnerable. We you know their airways are much smaller, so it's it's uh, they don't have as much wiggle room if there's you know get particles get in there or there's uh, an inflammate the particles cause inflammation in the airways. Dr. Burstein said asthma is very common in our area. This inflammation will you know really trigger an asthma attack. So you know parents should you know really watch, see how their kids are doing. You know you should know what your kids look like when they're having trouble breathing or developing an asthma attack. But if if you have chronic lung conditions, smoke, or have cardiac conditions, you are also urged to stay indoors. The West Seneca School District also canceled outdoor activities. Outside schools, playgrounds were empty. The smell of smoke continues moving through the region. The health commissioner tells me Thursday could be even worse, but for now, it's all about protecting your kids from the harmful smoke. It's just a great idea. Let's just want to have the children out here in a conditions like this. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Amherst.